Hi guys, thanks for joining me today. Today we are going to do an altered paper clip. We're doing a challenge for uh, with um, Marsha in Markets of Sunshine. And this is the printout if you're in her Facebook group. Junk Journal Junction, you can get this printout. And what she's doing is a challenge for 12 weeks, one altered paper clip per week. And each week it's a different set of items that you used. And then each week she's also going to have a bonus. And this week it's a beaded dangle. So these are the items that we need this week. Obviously, your cardstock and your paper clip, and I'm using the two inch paper clip, uh, one and three quarters, whatever they call it. It measures one and three quarters, but they say it's two inch. Um, any type of piece of paper, you can use magazine, book page, music page, any kind of piece of paper. A um, tea bag wrapper, and this is the best I could come up with. My tea bags don't have wrappers. So this is not your traditional, you know, paper wrapper that tea bags come in. Um, this is like a plastic coated one. So we'll be using this today. A leaf sticker, a piece of lace, green fabric, and I'm using sorry silk today. And then orange fiber. And an orange fiber is just that, whatever you consider fiber. It just has to be orange, so I'm using this. Um, and then I'm going to try using this little dangle that I made today. These little sparklies on it. I have no clue what I'm going to make. So you guys are going to uh, be here as I figure it out. And I think, obviously, we're going to put this on here and I do use any glue stick that I have I buy glue stick when it's on clearance on sale at yard sales estate sales so I do not have a preference on glue stick and this little bottle is um, art glitter glue. I always have a paper towel. So there's that. And yes, I have not thought about this beforehand. rip that up. That's kind of a pretty picture to use. I am all about ball jars. My husband has a huge collection of them. And we are, if you've watched my videos, you know we bought a fixer upper and um, getting that fixed up for us. And I honestly don't know where his ball jars are gonna go. Right now we're in a temporary house, but the house that we were living in, the kitchen was open to the living room and I can't talk and think at the same time. I don't know what I'm going to do next. <laughs> um, the kitchen and living room were open to each other with a half wall. Well, you know, a three quarter inch wall. And all the ball jars were up on top of that. And they've We've been in this house for a year now, just over a year, and they've been in storage this whole time. 
So what I'm thinking of doing right now is a fan. And if you watch Linda Croker's video that she did recently, she did a fan. And I'm just going to show you the ones that I've done with magazine pages. And you've got to watch her video. Look at these. And then you can decorate them up. I made so many just watching TV with my husband one night. And it's neat the colors that you get out of it. Um, here's one that's in fabric. I started doing fabric. And that's going to look so cute on something. I need to leave that out. I'm doing a journal that's using pink. But so I'm, that's what I'm doing here. So watch our video. Let's cut some of this off. Yeah, this is sorry silk. I get my sorry silk from Sophia in India. She has beautiful sari silk and really great prices and the prices include shipping. So that makes it so nice. So with these, all you do is staple it and then you can hide your stapler. I have colored staples. Gold is in here now. And I don't know what I'm going to do with both sides. Let's put that on the back with this. My husband just walked in and the dog is very happy. She heard him and did that little bark. So, sorry for that little interruption. I wasn't expecting him just yet. Probably should have checked the time, then I would have known. So, I'm going to put this one here. And that was Fabri-Tac that I used. And I think that's what I'm going to use for this because it's got a plastic coating on it. Fabri-Tac is for everything. It is my go-to glue. I love it. And this bottle, I love. This is the um, Sweet Sugar Bell bottle, which is for baking, which is my other passion. And uh, the bottle is nice. It's much nicer than the bo the stupid bottle. Yes, I'm going to say it. That Fabri-Tac sells their glue in. I mean, you have to cut off the top. That's not a very smart move on their part, if you ask me. Um, well, it's kind of obvious the lace is going to go at the bottom. Right? But not on this side. And I thought I was going to stitch. I think I'm going to stitch all the way around, which of course you don't have to. And I'm going to try something. I don't know if it's going to work. Or if I can do it. Kind of making waves with the orange fiber.
force the glue to stick into my hand. Darn it. I have this. This is for your face. I don't know. For moisturizer, applies and applying moisturizer. I don't know about that. Um, but I got it at the Dollar Tree. And it is great. For holding down the glue. As you can see, it is working. There goes my finger again. I got distracted with my husband and dog. So yeah, I don't know where the jars are going to go when we move because I have a huge collection of milk glass and of Pyrex which I'm going to go through and sell some of them. I just have way too much. Kind of like crafting. Oh my goodness. I get into something and boy, dude, I just go overboard with it and get a lot of stuff. And crafting now, it is so nice. Marsha has this list, and it's nice that um, I'll probably be able to find everything on the list each week. Oh my goodness, I did it. What do you think? I kind of want something to cover that staple, though. I don't know. Let's see. I don't know what I'm going to do. You're kind of watching me think. Some of you are probably telling me what to do. I was thinking, just glue it. I knew how to make a flower. Maybe I'll make a little mini fan. to get a bigger piece. I hate that I'm putting up my sorry silk. I hoard that stuff. It's like precious material. Precious stone sorry silk is. Yeah, my husband just got back from buying a safe that the older owner said that has been in the family. Sorry about that. Been in their family for 95 years. And the safe is, they said it needs like five or six men to move it. It's a pretty big safe. But my husband and his friend went three hour drive this morning. And um, we're going to have our papers are going to be safe. So that's about all. But, um, it's got gold gilding. I haven't seen it. I've just seen the picture. He just came in, but it has gold gilding on it. And, um, it's obviously, like I said, very old.
And what the funny thing is, they said they didn't have the combination. They haven't been able to get into it in all the years that they've owned it. But because it's beautiful, they've always kept it out as, you know, decoration, you know, uh, something that just sat out it's like a plant stand. And um, my husband gets there and the combination is taped to the top of it or on the top of it. I'll have to see how it is, but how do you miss that? That's what I said to him. So I can't wait to see it, to see how they missed the combination all the years that it's been with them, the, the current owners. And my husband went down to buy it. He knows somebody. Um, it's a company, but people that can crack a safe without having to drill holes into it. But luckily, the combination was there. My husband's been wanting a safe. Like I said, to keep our papers in, but he always buys me jewelry every birthday and Christmas. So he wants to be able to keep the jewelry in it. All right. I'm thinking this sleeve or this one. Probably this one because. The ball jar. Can't really see it, can you? Not too much, but the ball jar is um, the standalone here for me. So, how is everybody doing? The weather, weather is pretty warm everywhere I see. I used to live in Arizona for about 11 years and I am glad I'm not there right now with those temperatures. It's warm enough here in Florida. I think it turned out pretty cool. And thanks to Linda, I was able, I thought about, did the fan. This needs to be closed more. There we go. And of course, you want the dangle on the opposite end of where you use. The uh, paper clip. And of course, that will be glued. So, there you go. either side. So let's get this baby glued down. And I can't see what everyone does with theirs. Altered paper clips to me. Um, I don't know why, but I have a problem with them. And that's one reason why I joined the challenge is to learn what I'm doing wrong and to learn more. So I hope I did that right. Want that out a little bit. I hope y'all enjoyed that video. 
It was pretty fun. All right. Thanks, guys. I'll see you on the next one.